Hi guys, this is Perkins here. Today we're going to be talking about Module 1, Lesson 22 and 23. In this lesson, we talk about using strategies to solve addition problems. So first, I'm going to talk about the different strategies that we use to add, or that we could use to add different types of number sentences or addition problems. This first one is adding zero. So if the number sentence was 5 plus 0 equals 5, or 10 plus 0, with 10 plus 0, we know that 10 plus nothing equals 10. Because when that 0, it's nothing. It's not anything. Okay? So we know that 10 plus 0 would just be 10. Because when you add 0, the number doesn't change because nothing was added. Now let's look at this next one. You could draw a picture to add. So for 2 plus 1 equals 3, we could, have add, we could have drew 2 and then one more, and then we could count them all together to figure out it is 3. So draw how many you, you start with, then draw how many more that are added, and then see how many are all together. So next one, count on to add. So for this 3 plus 2 equals 5, you start with the first number. You count forward as many as the second number is. And then you see what number you're on. And that's whenever you use a number line. The next one is whenever we're adding with doubles. And we talked about this in our previous lesson or in a few lessons back. We talked about this. So for 2 plus 2 equals 4, we know that we add the same number two times. For this one, add with doubles plus 1. This one is like having 2. So this number sentence really was 2 plus 3 equals 5. What they did was that they split up 3 into 2 and 1 because they knew that the doubles would be 2 plus 2. So they knew that 2 plus 2 was 4, and then you added 1 to make 5. And this one is added with the commutative rule, or the switcheroo, which is if, it the, if the number says it's 2 plus 3 equals 5, you can always switch it around and change the order to make it 3 plus 2 equals 5 to help you be able to add it easier. Another one of this last strategy is add with 10 friends, with friends of 10. So friends of 10 means, it's sort of like 10 buddies, whenever it's two parts that make 10. So like 10 plus 0 equals 10, 9 plus 1 equals 10, 8 plus 2 equals 10, 7 plus 3 equals 10, 6 plus 4 equals 10, 5 plus 5 equals 10, 6 plus 4 equals 10, 3 plus 7 equals 10, 2 plus 8 equals 10, 1 plus 9 equals 10, and 0 plus 10 equals 10. And we use these a lot, these 10 buddies, a lot, because we use the number 10 a lot, especially when we bring in those big numbers, we use this strategy a lot. So it's going to be really important that we start to try to remember these friends of 10, these 10 buddies. So let's look at this. 2 plus 5 equals blank. Now we have to think about what strategy could we use for this. Now I'm thinking about two strategies that we can use for this. One strategy that we can use is whenever we count on or we can draw a picture. We're going to do both of those strategies. First, let's count on. We know that whenever we count on, we store that bigger number, which we know is 5. So we're going to put 5 in our brain. And let's count on 2. So 5, 6, 7. So now there's 7. So now let's just draw a picture. 1, 2, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let's just count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So yep, we get the same thing. Alrighty guys, that's it for this video.